I crash a 700 size helicopter. I am trying to salvage all the parts that I can. I'm trying to determine whether I can use these uh, a shaft. This is a main shaft, this is a spindle shaft. Uh, just looking at it, I really cannot tell whether they are uh, a straight or if they are deformed. I, I really can't uh, with the naked eye. Uh, I'm using this uh, surface here uh, on my uh, uh, workbench. It looks pretty good, but I know my workbench is not exactly, um, I guess, uh, uniform. So this would not be very helpful to me. So I will show you uh, the method or methods that I use to determine whether the shaft is, is straight enough to be used again. So I need uh, a uniform surface. Generally, uh, glass surfaces tend to be pretty uniform and this is an old bathroom scale that no longer works. And that's what I'm going to use to determine whether the shaft is uh, pretty straight or not. Uh, since my workbench is pretty leveled, uh, I, it, the, the shaft itself is not going to move uh, or rotate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, raise uh, the, the um, bathroom scale just a little bit, okay? Just a little bit, put this underneath and that. And then I see the shaft is rotating and I don't really uh, uh, see like any uh, gaps, you know, forming anywhere. And I'm gonna rotate it up. Uh, oops, uh, let me okay, rotate it up a little bit and then see how it comes right back down. And uh, so, Usually, if there is a, a problem with the shaft, uh, it would just kind of like stop and then not roll back down. Say the same thing with this other shaft. So I, so it, it, it passed this test. Uh, there's other ways to, to tell whether the, the shaft is uh, straight or not. So here I'm going to use the Dubro uh, True Spin Prop Balancer. Um, so the way I use this uh, a tool is that I'm going to uh, place a shaft here. I'm going to spin the shaft, and then I'm going to feel with uh, so something sensitive like my fingernail, and see if there's any areas, you know, where uh, where there's gaps or or, or 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 for uniformness. Okay, and it's actually pretty pretty uniform. You know, here feeling it with my fingernails. Same thing on the other side. Okay, and I'll probably do the same with the uh, uh, with the smaller shaft. And so far, I feel pretty good about um, uh, that the shafts are, are pretty straight and true and will not cause issues when I reuse them. If you really want to geek it out, you can always use a dial indicator. Uh, so a dial indicator, uh, basically it, it has its own uh, a base. The base usually has some sort of magnetic uh, uh, I don't know, whatever you call this, just uh, attaches to anything that's metal. So here I'm gonna turn it on to engage the magnet and see how it picks up uh, any metal. So this should attach, whoops, turn it off. I can undo this, it'll attach to um, like the metal uh, legs of your uh, workbench or whatever. Then it has this articulating arms that you can uh, adjust. And here I'm going to uh, turn this on all right, so now I'm going to uh, engage it onto the uh, uh, this shaft. Okay, so working on the pressure here. <laughs> and uh, so here I'm going to zero this out, okay? So here I zero the dial indicator at the area where the uh, Jesus bolt goes onto the shaft, all right? So it's uh, zeroed. And I'm going to move the shaft, uh, rotate it around. And as you can see, the, there are some imperfections on the shaft, all right? Uh, 0.08 uh, here is actually over uh, a tenth of a millimeter, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 millimeters, man, even 0 0.9, uh, 0 0.19, I mean. And then it should come back to uh, zero here, all right? And it mainly does, right? You know, yeah, like 0.01, that's as close to zero as that's gonna get, okay, point of, okay. So there's some imperfections on the shaft, but um, I think the shaft is still pretty good, okay? But again, this is just a really high precision instrument. Um, and um, so uh, I guess the, whole, the point is, is that the, if you feel uncomfortable, uh, a, a feeling for a, a straight shaft and you want to uh, get the best of the best uh, uh, equipment, uh, precision equipment possible, this is where the uh, a dial indicator comes in. 
Thank you for watching.